So a couple years ago, I was invited to an event that was co-founded by my friend Walter Afanasiev. It's a talent search mentorship program. Now, before I tell you about the mentorship program, let me tell you a little bit about Walter Afanasiev, or as we call him, Walter A. He's a producer, songwriter, and a composer who has been involved in so many great projects and with so many great artists. Well, right now, being around Christmas time, everyone has heard the great Mariah Carey song, All I Want For Christmas Is You. Well, he's the co-writer and the producer for that great song. But he's also worked with Josh Groban, like I said, Mariah Carey, Celine Dion, so many great artists. So he had this amazing mentorship program where they invite a bunch of artists from all over the world to Los Angeles. They house them in Los Angeles and then mentors from the music business, they get great mentorship from leaders in the music industry. And Walter asked me to be involved in that project. So I was really happy to be a part of it. You know, it's so nice to have a mentor. Somebody that can really guide your creativity. And that's what these guys were doing. Now, these artists were already great artists, but to get this mentorship from Babyface, from Michael Bolton, from Kenny G, from Walter A, and I was fortunate enough to be a part of it as well, um, I think it's very valuable. to kind of shape your creativity, right? So I was so happy to just be invited with all these wonderful artists. So of course, I'm getting ready to go to the event, putting my wonderful suit on and fighting the Los Angeles traffic to get to this event in Culver City, which is in Los Angeles. I met my wife. She was coming from work. We drove, def, uh, you know, two different cars and we were getting ready to go to the red carpet. Now that was a lot of fun because we're standing in line as I'm standing in line and looking over to the red carpet, I'm recognizing a lot of people like Jeremy Renner, great actor. And of course I see Kenny G, I see Walter A, I see Babyface who's a great R&B singer. Of course, he became a superstar producer himself. And we go through the red carpet and go inside. So after we go inside, we go in the back area. We were led into what they call the VIP room. It was uh, interesting because it was just kind of a dark room. You couldn't really see inside. It had a nice, like a cool, um, romantic but sort of dark vibe to it and I see a gentleman sitting in the back it was kind of dark I couldn't really see anything but I saw a gentleman sitting by himself and as I approached this person I realized it's mr. Randy Jackson from American Idol and of course he's an incredible musician a producer a bass player and I've followed this career for so many years until later when he became a judge on American Idol. But before that, he started out with Journey and went on to perform with so many great musicians and bands. And of course, he became a personality. So a lot of people know who he is. And I just went up to him and introduced myself. And I got to tell you guys, he was so humble and so pleasant when I first start talking to him that he was just like we've known each other for so many years you know we're just talking and laughing it just felt really great to talk to him because it's like someone I known for so many years
I learned so much from talking to him just in the few minutes that we were hanging out. So then the time came where we had to get up and go and mingle with people. And that's when he introduced me to Kenny G, Babyface. Now Babyface is an incredible producer, um, R&B artist in his own right, but he became a superstar producer for Madonna and many other great artists. And then of course, I got to meet Kenny G, the number one best-selling instrumentalist of all time. Now, Kenny's a little bit more reserved and just his touch, the way he plays the sax is unique in the world. Kenny G, when he plays a saxophone, it's world known. So it was such a pleasure to finally meet him and be able to hang out with him. And we were listening to music. So I'm standing here with Walter and uh, Kenny and we're like, yeah, you know, listening to music. I really enjoyed myself that night because I got to meet so many talented young musicians that were inspiring musicians from all over the world that got together for this mentorship program. So I thought this was a great way for them to get advice from these wonderful and talented legends in our business. And for me to meet Randy Jackson or Kenny G and hanging out with Walter A was just an incredibly pleasant and fun experience. So now I want to share with you the advice that I got from Mr. Randy Jackson. So the advice that I got from him was carve out your own lane, be yourself, be your own brand. He said, I know what everyone else is doing, but what are you doing? What is your brand? And that's actually so important, especially now for us artists. You know, sometimes I see people getting into this mode of copying people, copying different producers because they want to be on the radio or they want to be, you know, sounding like another artist. But the best advice that I've gotten from him is don't do that. Carve your own lane. Be true to yourself and who you are. For me, for instance, is what I do, play the piano a certain way. I have my own style, which I've taken me, you know, many years to develop. But that's essentially what he was telling me. Stay with what you're doing, develop your own brand because what someone else is doing is working for them. But that's not gonna work for you because all of us are different. So that was the advice that I got from him and I really use it all the time because even when I do something, even if I'm writing a film score or if I'm writing for my own album, I just wanna stay true to myself as an artist. I wanna make sure, because there's so much stuff going on it's easy subconsciously to get into some other artist you know maybe playing something that sounds like someone else because you're listening to different artists to me i think is i i took that advice to heart and every time i do a project i ask myself is this truly me am i doing my thing is this my brand which I think it's really important, especially now for creators to stay in their own lane and to be creative 
and keeping their own brand. So overall, the evening was great. Got to meet so many amazing and talented young aspiring musicians and also got to hang out with some of these legends in the music business and the food was amazing enjoyed it and so it kind of takes me back to a couple years ago so i hope that we can go out after this lockdown and do more of these great events so if you enjoyed this show please hit the subscribe button hit that notification bell and I will see you on the next show.